back in the book segment tonight. What is where all hundreds of New York City students, most of them in high school, walked out of classes this week to protest President Trump's temporary travel ban levied against seven mostly Muslim countries. The event was arranged on Facebook, no surprise. So we sent Waters out to talk to some of the protesters. Are you cutting class to go to this protest? Yes. Which class? I would have missed any class, but it happened to be lunch. I'll go turn the fryers back on and throw some wings in for you. Tell me what wingy. I was cutting my calculus class. I have a test. So what happens when the teacher fails you? I think that if he fails me, he's an ass. Geometry and PE. You don't know, like gym? Wouldn't kill you. We play some competitive sports. Do your teachers know you're cutting? Yeah. Yeah. Many of them were just like, we understand a lot of you aren't going to be here tomorrow. Good for you. What exactly are you ladies here to protest? I would say I'm here to protest the ban on immigrants and refugees. The travel ban. That's that's un-American. What he's doing is just not right. And it's, it's fascism, it's not democracy. We're protesting against Trump. He wants to ban people from this country. And it's kind of sad when you don't like a person for what they look like. What don't you like about Trump? He's racist. He's against African Americans. He said that black people are ignorant. He and, did? Yeah. When was that? He said it. He said it. I could change what I said. You were chanting that America was never great earlier. Do you believe that? It's a chant. It rhymes. Five, six, seven, eight. America was never great. But you know America was pretty great when we defeated the Nazis. This is not good here. Which nations are on the temporary travel ban list? Well, as of right now, I'm not completely sure about the actual countries. Libya, Iraq, um, Persia, Afghanistan, uh, Lebanon, many, like, um, uh, like, um, like, this isn't turning out the way I wanted it to. It's all the nations that he wants, just not in America. That's a bad, that's bad phrasing, and I'm on TV. Boy, what a great show. Why don't you want people extremely vetted before they come here from those countries? Why should they be extremely vetted? Because those are havens of terrorism. America's a haven of terrorism. If you think America's so bad, you should try Syria. You can't even set foot in the parking lot. The countries that he's blocked, they're not terrorist countries. Iran's not a terrorist country? No. It's the number one sponsor of terrorism in the world. Do you believe in borders? If you're cool and all, you're coming in to help me. I'm cool with that, but I'm not coming here to mess things up. So don't you want to check to see if someone's cool before you let them in? Well, of course, you always want to check. That's why we have our air. That's why we want extreme vetting, right? Of course, of course. But so you do agree with the Trump ban? What does your sign say on the back? On the back it says punch a Nazi. Wait, I thought you don't believe in violence. I do believe in violence, not gun violence. So, just these things. Yeah. Yeah. I've got Jack Johnson and Tom O'Leary waiting for you. I'm an immigrant. I'm from South Africa. Do you think I need to be extremely vetted? After some of the comments you made, yes. I'm just being humorous. <laughs> Mocking the little high school student water. I feel so bad about it, too. Did any of them know anything? They could name a few countries that were on the that list. That were on the list. Yes. But you know what they said, which was strange, because I think they got it from somewhere. They said Trump is not banning people from countries he does business with. Mm. So I said, do you, does, is there a Trump Tower in Afghanistan? And they just sat there with a blank stare. Okay. So how many high school kids did you talk to about? How many? Probably about a dozen. Okay. Did any of them have any idea about this issue? Mm, I would say no. Okay. So none of them? None of them. Right. And there were hundreds of them out there. Okay. So they were there basically for social reasons because their friends were there and this was <laughs> skipping school, right? Did you ever walk out of class? No. I mean, when other kids do it, you tag along. I, I think mean, that was part of it. I, I wouldn't have done it because it was freezing and raining. I wouldn't have done it because it's a waste of time. Um, but it's kind of sad 
It is sad. You know? Because these people these, are going to lead the country, possibly. They're indoctrinated already, and they don't know really what it is from what you brought back. But maybe if they watch tonight, they could wise up and learn something. The odds of them watching tonight are <laughs> long, long, long. I was watch this program on Saturday night. I'll be on it. Wow. Right? Yeah. Wow. So the ratings will go. <laughs> and then as soon as I'm down, <laughs> no. Thanks, Waters, Bill. 8 o'clock Saturday night. And a few quick notes. If you live in Omaha, Nebraska, or Tacoma,